Welcome back to Dice Station Zebra with Rob and Jocelyn, and today we are live on Twitch. Um, we are doing some provincials testing, or states, for the uh, Silver Age, Heroclix Silver Age 400 point tournaments that are happening. This is true. At the end of 2024. Um, and yeah. S and spoiler alert. Spoiler alert? I am going to two provincials. You are, at, you are, yeah, you're competing in two tournaments. Losing in two turns. Whereas I'm only, <laughs> yeah, I'm only uh, competing in one. Yeah. So, um, so like I said, we are live on Twitch. Um, we are also going to be posting this on YouTube. So we do have an active chat. Welcome chat room. Welcome YouTube viewers who see this in the future. Um, hello, future people. Hello, future people. Um, so, these are 400 point teams. They are. Jocelyn, you've already played this team on stream. I have. So why don't you go ahead and tell us, refresh us on your team. Yeah, so I'm trying this again. Um, this is my 400 point Loki team. Mm -hmm. So 300 point Loki, which is my modern piece yep. with the Stones of Merlin. Mm -hmm. I have Saturnine, which allows me to play the tarot deck, which is over here. Yep. Tarot deck. Yep. Pre-shuffled, ready to go. And then I have Scarlet Witch with the Cloak of Levitation. I might want to tweak this a little bit and do something else, but for right. now I want to try this again because we played it pretty well the first time, but we did make a couple of mistakes. Yeah, forgot a few things. So um, so that's my 400-point team. Mm -hmm. uh, this time I am again, well, I'm again playing Starro. Starro at, I think it's 80 points. It is 80 points. Um, I'm using Wong again. Um, I have him. This time, I swapped out my Prime Vision for Prime Wrecker. Mm -hmm. um, I've put the Galactus Herald dial on him. So he's going to have Cosmic Team Ability because of that. Just like you had with Vision. That's right. And then this, and then I've got Space Ghost um, at um, a lower point value, just 30 points. Um, and I've got Scott Porter, of course, 25 points. Black Shirt. Black shirt, and I've got Felix Faust, who is on, I think, his 30-point line. Yep, 30 points. And a figure that people may have forgotten about, the Marquis of Death. Mm -hmm. You probably haven't seen this guy in a while. But I was going through my stuff, and I found him, and I said, hey, that guy has some possibilities. You know, when I start the game, mm. I can, uh, Saturnine lets me put tarot cards on my sideline. Yeah. I feel like I should swap one of my tarot cards out. Really? Yeah. Tell them what they do, and then I'll tell you what tarot card I want to put on. Oh, okay. Okay, let's talk about the Marquis of Death. Um, this figure is from the uh, Future Foundation set. And it is... Is it a chase? It's number 61, right? It's uh, a super yeah. rare, I think. It, it was a big set. It's a super rare. Yeah. So, um, first thing, of course, improve targeting through characters. Um, there is a trait. Um, the trait says, we were just having fun before we take it all away. And what this does, it says, each time an opposing character heals, give Marquis of Death a false hope token. So the Marquis of Death is going to collect these tokens whenever an opposing character heals, mm -hmm. right? Um, part of the trait is Pulse Wave. And when the Marquis of Death uses Pulse Wave, you may remove any number of false hope tokens. If you do, each hit character is dealt um, X damage instead where X is the number of tokens removed. Yep. So instead of doing one damage on a pulse wave, as as the printed rules, you can do as many as you have false, hope false hope tokens you that you remove. And you get false hope tokens by anyone healing or just your own characters? Um, well, what's it say? It says, so the special attack power, which is all the way down the dial, energy explosion, when Marquis of Death uses it for each hit character, Sorry, for each hit target, um, sorry, i got to read this again. When Marquis of Death uses it for each hit target, you may choose that they are healed one click instead of being dealt damage. Right. So I can heal your people with an energy explosion. Yep. Um, but the question you asked was, when do I get False Hope tokens? Yes. That is when an opposing character heals. Opposing character heals. Opposing. So Not your own people. Right. So okay. I have to, if I damage your people... I could, um, if you heal them on your own, yep. I'm gaining false hope tokens. Right. Or I could do this energy explosion and elect to heal your people instead of um, right. damaging them. I would collect false hope tokens. Yeah. So, so the, the tarot that I would swap in mm -hmm. with Saturnine, if I chose to do it, I'm not going to, but I could, is death. 
Right. Because death says characters can't heal. Okay. Which would mess up your dude. Well, yeah, for at least one turn, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, because Saturnine says, during force construction, you may add five tarot cards to your sideline. These do not count towards your sideline limit. Mm -hmm. During game setup, you may swap up to five tarot cards from your tarot deck with the tarot cards on your sideline. Mm -hmm. Your tarot deck must still meet the deck building requirements. So, okay. there we go. But I'm not going to do that today. Right. Okay, so... Um, so we rolled off. We rolled off, and I, I won the roll, so I selected map, and I'm going to go second, and you're going to go first. Yeah, initially you were going to go first. And then, yeah. and then you were like, wait a second. For reasons. Yeah. Then you were like, wait a second. I, uh, you know, I think that I should probably go first and choose the map because I need t blocking terrain. I need blocking terrain because Wrecker and Wrecker's friends, when they, they, when they move, they can just go through blocking terrain. Yeah. And destroy it. So um, when they do that, um, for each character who does that, um, if they destroy a piece of blocking terrain that is closer to my opponent's side of the map, I score a mission point. So, and in, in the Silver Age rules, uh, mission points are worth uh, 10 points per mission point. 10 victory points per mission point. Yeah. So those could add up pretty fast, and they could win the game for you. Yeah. So, anyway, so you're set up, right? I am set up. And are you placing uh, terrain? If I was, I wouldn't get to do it until after you place your characters. That's true. So you have to place your people first. I have to place my people. So this is interesting because I have to get... Not a lot of places for you, but Starro. Starro, yeah. You chose an edge that left me with very few choices. I mean, that's how you play this. That's how you do it. So I know we're just about to start, but yeah. I do want to say there's something I've observed about your team, Rob. Oh, and what's that? Well, you... You've got this, like, pulse wave thing. Yeah. Which you need lines of fire for. Yeah. And then you built a map. You picked a map that's got all these walls. Yeah. Right? So I can hide behind walls. Now, I know you can destroy the walls. Mm hmm But it's, like, sort of a late game thing. Yep. So I don't know that... Like, I think it's cool, the team you built, and I'm not criticizing it. But <laughs> I do think that you're trying to do two different things with this team. No, absolutely. I, I see where you're coming from. And I'm not... I mean, it might work. It might work. So I'm not I'm not saying it's a bad thing. You haven't even played it yet. I'm just saying it when you were describing your team. Yeah. That was my thought. Um, I am trying to figure out the best placement here. Um, well, while you're figuring out your placement, yeah. I'm going to say hi to Sean Cena 92 in the chat. Hey, Sean Cena. And Sean Cena is asking if there's going to be Star Wars Unlimited gameplay coming to the channel. And I said definitely sometime soon we will play some Star Wars um, Unlimited. Yeah. Uh, but right now we're getting ready for our provincials for Heroclix. And then he also added that Starro is a big fella. And if you think Starro is a big fella, you should see the Galactus that's on Rob's side. <laughs> I will show you the Galactus. Um, he's on the sideline because I am using the um, Herald dial yep. that's, that's associated with it. But here's Galactus. That is a Heroclix figure. And there's his base at the bottom. Yep. So. And, and you're also using the Elemental Converter dial, which we forgot about last time. Um, okay, now does that actually, is that actually in play? I think it's always in play. Okay, let me, let me read it Here, before we you get set started. Your, you, you set your people up and I can double check that. Oh, I'm you. looking at it now. Uh, when playing Galactus, the ele elemental converter dial is in use whether he is on your force or the sideline. Oh, so this is in play. Yeah. Okay, so what does it do? At the end of your turn, click the elemental converter dial once. If Galactus or the Herald KO'd an opposing character this turn, you may click it an additional time. Um, if a um, symbol is revealed, which is the Cosmic Team Ability symbol, heal Galactus equal to the number displayed on his dial. Okay, that's not going to happen. Um, the next section says converting planets to pure energy. At the end of each opponent's turn, deal one unavoidable damage to each character on that force with an X squares of a map edge where X is the number displayed on this dial. Mm -hmm. So that is in play. Yes. Interesting. And so I, th I think that's why when I was asking you about it last time, Yeah. I was like, I think you have to click it at the end of yeah, every you can turn. You have to look at it. Yep. And so you were like, no, I only have to click it if this happens, but okay. that's because it wasn't the elemental converter. So the elemental converter dial is in play, and I have to, I have to find that click number one, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, so we have to get to one, two, 
We have to get to the end of turn three before the end of your turn three before anything's going to happen. Okay. Um, and I think last time we only got four turns in the game, so. So basically, what happens is when I reveal the number one on there, if anybody is in the first squ square, like the fir on the edge of the map, yeah. one square away from the map edge, they get uh, they take damage, right? Yeah. Yep. They take Ch one unavoidable. Yeah. Cherry, Cherry asked, uh, didn't I once play a team that got points for destroying scenery? And I said, probably. <laughs> yeah. We play so many different figures, I'm not even sure anymore. Um, so, one of my evil plans has already um, been, been ruined. Uh, ruined because of the, the just the way the terrain is set up here. Ruined. And I can't figure out how to how to make it work. But anyway... That's okay. So I'm I'm set up, and okay. do you have terrain? I am not placing any terrain. You're not placing any terrain. Nope. So, um, okay. Well, I'm gonna put some terrain out. Um, how about we put a piece here? Mm-hmm. And. Um, <coughs> going to put now that would be closer to your edge yeah you want the train on my side for destroying purposes right yeah and I'll put a piece there okay I'm good to go um, oh Sean Cena says I've been teaching a friend hero clicks he keeps using a d20 for all his rules <laughs> oh is that are you doing that on purpose Sean is that like so that he can uh, get higher results because <laughs> that's kind of a neat way to do it yep uh coming soon the beholder hero clicks figure mm -hmm. which has a d20 it comes with a d20 which i think is already on a watch list it's already on a watch it's not list. even not even out yet it's on a watch list yep okay are we ready i am ready if you are thing? yeah so cheers all right cheers good luck good luck to and you and you're gonna set us up with uh 50 minutes is it 50 minutes on the clock and okay. we are ready to go all right let's do it here we go okay clock is on first thing i'm gonna do is flip a tarot card yep can't forget that and it's the mind control card again yeah that's not what you want that's not what i wanted so but that's something you're gonna have to deal with in yeah. the tournament right when a character uses mind control after resolutions they may deal their printed damage when divided between all printed printed our damage value divided between all heart targets mm -hmm. okay all right so i'm just gonna do a quick math here so loki's <coughs> got a move of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. so he can get here right i want to make the most use of his bubble because his bubble is the range where you can't do free actions right okay so he can go one two three four five six and here one, two, three, and four, Sean five, says, no, six. he's not doing it on purpose. He just keeps using it. <laughs> so, and then we also have to keep in mind that we have the Herald thing happening. Yeah. And nine is the middle of the map. Is that right? Yeah. So I want to be as far away from that as I can be. All right. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm-hmm. I think I was really hoping to get him in some one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I was hoping to get him in some hindering. Is there a way I can do that? Let me just see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can do that. Wow, you're gonna bring him all the way up there? Yeah. So I'm placing him here. That's outrageous. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I can't go through there. <coughs> That's right. Because you built this blocking. Unless corner. he's got phasing or something. Uh, he doesn't. Okay. No, so he can't. Okay, so this is what we're going to do instead. I am regretting my nine. placement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, I could get him here. You could. Can he be perplexed at all? No, because I can't use free actions. One, two, three, four, oh. five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll do that. That works. Okay. So he's going to come up to here. Yeah. Uh, I think that one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's my free action bubble. Can he target through? Yes. Blocking. Yes. He can. Yeah. Gross. No, I don't want him there. Okay. <laughs> so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm sorry. I'm gonna TK him. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Okay. 
she can see that spot because the direct angle's there. Yeah. TK. All right. That's not free. It's costed. No, that's a costed action. Then we can go one, two, three, four, five, six to here. Oh, and then do it costed. One, two, three, four, five, six. <coughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Question. Can yes. I can't because I can't recall. Can Loki be mind controlled? Yes. He can be. Mm -hmm. Okay. He does not have battle fury. Okay, and now. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is my free action line. Yep. Which means that Scarlet Witch can now sidestep to here. And then Saturnine. Oh, this is the problem I had before. I TK'd with her. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> then she sidesteps. And then she can phase. And one, two, three, four, five, six. I kind of want to keep them out of the bubble, but I don't think it's going to be possible. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. So she's going to phase over here. Six to there. Okay. So Scarlet Witch is going to phasing teleport, carrying Saturnine to here. Okay. That's the plan. Interesting. And that's my final answer. Okay. Okay, I'm done. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Nice. That was a very long first turn. Um, I don't know what to uh, what to do here. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I you're in my bubble. I can't do free actions. No free actions. You know what? This might not have been a good um, team <laughs> to go against your Loki because generating a bystander is a free action. Is, is it on your card? One, two, three, four, five, six, right? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can't I can't generate right there. And it's not line of fire, it's range, right? Just range. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So poor Wrecker can't um he can't uh he can't do his thing, his magical thing. So that's all right. So, um, what are we gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna take Wrecker, right? And he does have sidestep, but that's a free. Yeah. I can't do it because Loki's there. I'm just marking my corners. Uh, yep. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. To six. So if I send him across, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could get to you eventually, right? Yeah. We'll just throw that in the corner over there. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's on the corner. Yeah, <coughs> that okay. entire section of the map with all of those dice, no one can take free actions except Loki. Oof. Not even my people. Brutal. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna move Wrecker. Um, one. I think I gotta open up a wall first. So I think I gotta go here, right? Okay. So I'm gonna go. One, two. Actually, I'm gonna get my my uh, debris tokens. Oh yes, you'll need those because you're going to destroy things? I'm going to destroy things. Can Starro be mind controlled? Um, I think so. Excellent. So I'm going to destroy these two, right? Yep. Because I'm moving here. Yep. So that's one, two, three. Now when I go through I have to decide which one I'm destroying, right? That's right. So I'm going to go three... I'm going to go four and destroy this mm -hmm. to here. So one, two, three, four. Then I'm going to go five, destroy this. Mm -hmm. Six, seven, eight. I'm going to end here. Okay. So I have gained one mission point. And how have you gained the mission point? What exactly does he do? So Wrecker says, um, once per turn, whenever Wrecker uh, destroys a wall or a square of blocking terrain closer to an opposing start area, starting area than your own starting area, so gain one. one mission point. So okay. this is the middle of the map right here. So officially you are winning right now. So I have scored 10 points. So there we go. So he takes a token. Um, see, my goal was to generate a bystander yep. so the bystander could start doing it as well. 
But that is not going to happen. That's why I moved into the middle of the map. Yeah. Um, I make hard for you. <coughs> Starro does not have... Well, he's, ju he's colossal, so he can see over things. So right now he would have line of fire, even if I had a guy in the way, right? Uh, this is an indoor map. Yeah, but I can see through this. Oh, yes. I broke, I broke the wall. You're right. Right? So, um, Space Ghost is going... Oh, wait. Perplex is free, isn't it? It sure is. Dang it. Um, okay. Does your Starro have improved targeting hindering? He does not. Okay, because I'm stealthy. Oh, you're in stealth. Yeah, of course I am. That's why I wanted to be in the hindering. Interesting. Okay. Sometimes I know what I'm doing. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, I'm checking out his card. He does not have improved targeting through... Or yeah, improved targeting. <coughs> so, Starro has a move value of 6. So I'm going to attempt to move him. Okay. And he is going to carry Space Ghost. So uh, we're going to go one, two, three. Actually, oh, you can see through blocking. Yep, right? I can. I can see through. Three walls, characters, five, elevation, and hindering. Six. Now I can't place him here because there's a wall. Right. That's right. Does so he does he destroy the wall when he moves? He doesn't. Does, does Colossals inherently do that? I don't think so. I'm no. just going to double check. They don't do it. So he's going to move one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could end up there. Or I could they just do not. go. They can move through outdoor blocking. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to go here. Okay. With Starro. That's a costed move. Um, we're carrying. Space Ghost Kay. to there. I'm putting a token on Starro's card. Yep. You could put it on the map. Um, if you wanted. Oh, it's, it's fine there. Okay. Um, we're going to bring in the um, Marquis of Death. Oh, he's got sidestep, but he can't use it, right? Nope, not in the bubble. Oh, uh, this is something else. Okay. I'm wondering if I get paired up against the dark side if I just play a, sh a short map anyway. Yeah. Just so okay. I can get as close as possible. Um, Marquis of Death is going to do a costed, and he will come to here. Costed move. Okay. Does he have stealth? He he flies. Is he going to carry somebody? So he's going to carry Faust. Cool. To there. Um, and then Wong is going to phase teleport, right? Oh, hold on a second. Oh, no. He can't do his free. He can't do his free. Nope. He's in the bubble. Okay, well, then I'm taking this back, if that's okay. Yep. He you watched me take that. 13 things back. You're totally fine. Um, <clears throat> the marquee then is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And seven to here. Okay. Carrying In Faust. Interesting. Yeah, this is this is not good. <laughs> Against this team. Um that was accosted. Yep. And uh Porter is going to come over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Porter's here. Scotty P. And um, One, this two, three, guy, four. Wong. You have five actions, right? You got leadership somewhere? I have leadership on Wrecker. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wong is going to... Oh, well, look at that. Loki can see my... Wrecker. Wrecker. I didn't, I didn't notice that. Can he, can he target through characters as well? No, he only target... Oh, yes, he can target through characters. He can target through characters. Yes. Okay. Wong is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to here. Wait, you can see him there. I can see him, yes. One, two, three, four, five. But you can see through anything anyway. He is phasing, right, Wong? Yeah. You can see through everything anyway. So anyway, I'm going there. That's that's the decision I've made. It's really, really bad. So you've you made know. some decisions. Made some decisions. Go for it. All right. And I can't do any perplexing. So. What is uh, Starro's damage value, just FYI? It's just one. 
Oh, it's just one. Okay. Yeah, he's a mind controller. He's not a... So what you're saying is don't mind control Starro. Um, sure. Okay. All right, so I'm going to roll cosmic willpower on Loki. Okay. And he gets it with a six. So he gets to remove that action token. And then I have um, cosmic willpower on Saturnine. Mm-hmm. And she does not get it because that's only a four. And I'm also supposed to flip a tarot card, so let's do that. Yep. When a character uses telekinesis after resolutions, remove an action no token from them. Oh, so that's oh, pretty cool. That's right. I was supposed to select something with Space Ghost, but I think that's a free. Yeah, it's a free. I can't do it. He has powers he can access for free. Well, you got to get him out of the bubble. Yeah, this, this Loki is very oppressive. Um, Those free actions, of course. I don't have any leadership, which didn't matter because I only have three characters. Mm hmm. So, um, who's got shape change? Anybody got shape change? Uh, not at the moment. I don't think so. No? Okay. Um, doesn't matter if anybody has anything. Is there any ESD kicking around? Energy no. shield deflection. No, I don't think so. Okay. So, Wrecker is an 18, and Wong is an 18. Yep. And Wrecker can move four. So, he could go one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, this is totally good. Actually, oh, yeah, you can see through blocking, but I I cannot, so I should have put Wong in a different spot. Yeah. That's bad. Okay, so um, let's start with a mind control. Yep. We're going to mind control. Um, I can do it twice because your character has two or more characters more than my force does. So I can do once, and then I can do it as free. So let's... Uh, Let's mind control Wong first. Okay. So I'm a 12. So you have single target, right? Single target. Okay. Yeah. 12 on Wong's 18. Yep. So I need a 6. And that's a 7. Yep. Can you do anything about that? No. Um, or... Does anyone have prop? Well, yeah, but I can't see. You can't see Loki. No, I don't have a line of fire. Okay. So, oh, you know what? I didn't have to do that. Because you automatically hit. I automatically hit. Yeah. So we're going to pretend I didn't roll dice. Okay. Because when Loki is 300 points, he automatically hits on my control. So mm -hmm. Wong is hit. Yep. Does the Starro have shape change? No. So we're going to go... Starro's invincible. Okay. He's invincible. Oh, right. Invincible. I went through this last time. And how many clicks is he? Starro? Yeah. Um, like eight. Eight. That's a lot. Okay. So we're gonna go instead. We've got to we got to move a four. One, two, three, four, <laughs> over here. Four Slippy has just joined us. Hello, hey, four, four Slippy. Slippy. Thanks for joining. Is Gracie with you too? Say hi to Gracie for us. And you're also invinc invulnerable. Mm -hmm. What's the Marquis of Death got going on? Um, Marquis invincible. of Death. Yeah, he's invincible. He does have prob. FYI. Okay. Um, one, two, three. Yeah, I think we're going to have to <laughs> go this way. We're going to go one, two, three. And Wong is going to try and hit Faust. Okay. Does Faust have shape change? Faust has a uh, probability control of his own. Does he have shape change? He does not. Okay. Wong's a 12 on Faust. Yeah, who is a 17 with super senses. So I need a 5. I've got precision strike. Okay. So that's an 8. Um, Faust will prob that. Faust will prob that. That's a 9. Marquis of Death will prob that. Marquis of Death will prob that. That's okay. an 11. Yeah, you got him. So I'm dealing 3 with precision strike. Okay, and I'm going to uh, roll for super senses. Got a nope. three. So you're going to take three damage. I think that got Faust. One, two. Yeah, that KO's Faust. Okay. All right, Loki now reverts forces. Mm -hmm. And he is my, he is yours Wong. again. Wong reverts That's what I meant. Wong yep. reverts, forf reverts forces. Um, okay, so then that was my costed mind control. Yep. And now Loki is going to... That One, that two. did a Mystics, by the way, but I think... Oh, no, Wong does not have... He doesn't have Invincible, so... So he takes a Mystics. Yep. Excellent. Okay, so now we're going to do a Mind Control is free, and we're going to Mind Control... 
Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. I have to break away. Yeah, we're going to go on wrecker. <laughs> on wrecker, yeah. Oh, automatically succeeds. Yes, automatically succeeds. I'm not used to that. Okay, wrecker has a move of four. One, two, three, four with mind control. Mm -hmm. So he's going to come over here. Okay. And he's going to swing on the Starro. Okay. He's an 11. Uh, yes. Um... Record. Yeah, I'm just I'm. There was somebody that gives me a plus one. Oh, I was supposed to do something with Scott Porter. I was supposed to do the um, oh choose a keyword and ability, and it's yeah. supposed to be cosmic cosmic, and I was supposed to keep beside Starro, but I didn't. So anyway, you're going after Starro is printed. Yeah. Printed defense value, which is an eighteen. Eleven and an eighteen. Need a seven. That's a seven. That's a seven. So Wrecker's dealing three, I believe. Yeah. So Starro has invincible. Yeah. Does he have a roulette or anything? Oh, he sorry. He has a, yeah, he has an eighteen. So we do one. Okay. All right. Oh, by the way, at the end of my turn, I didn't do my dials. Oh, you should do your dials. Yeah. Okay. No, it wouldn't affect this turn anyway. Right. But um, you should do them. Okay. So that's Loki. Loki has done his things. Um. All right. While you're doing one, two, that, three. I'm going to do the dial. So the el the herald dial says if I'm within five of an opposing figure, which I was, yeah, I click it once. Yeah. And right. the elemental converter says that I click it. I can't remember why. Because it says because it, it says you do because it's because it's in play. At the end of your turn, click the converter dial once. Oh, and sorry. It, if the herald K KO'd an opposing character, you turn it an additional time. So Wrecker's attack roll that hit Starro had a 1 in it, which gives Scarlet Witch a rally die. Right. I can't remember if a finalized attack roll elsewhere had 1, but I don't think so. I think that attack roll ended with an 11. It was 11. a 6-1. Yeah, was that, a was six a that was a 5-6. That was a 5-6. Okay. So that was it. Okay, so I think what we're going to do... So he's got Impervious. Mm -hmm. He's Invincible. And I... Oh, I can. Okay, so if I go one, two, three, four, and then I'm just trying to see if I can get to Scott Porter. Okay. Because I've got sidestep, I'm outside the bubble. So if I TK'd her, mm -hmm. we could go one, two, her range is eight. So we could go one, two, three. If I can see that square. Sorry. Sorry. Scarlet Witch can see it. Saturnine can see it. We're good. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. Saturnine is going to TK Scarlet Witch to there. Okay. Saturnine says when she uses it to place... Oh, I'm not adjacent, so that doesn't happen. But this is when a character uses telekinesis to remove an action token from them. Oh, okay. So then we can sidestep to here. Yep. And now I'm adjacent to Scott Porter. You are. Because there's no wall there, right? No. And I can swing on Scott Porter. So Scarlet Witch is swinging on Scott Porter, but before she does that, does he have like a rollout or something? He's got super senses, I believe. Oh, but yeah. you took Cosmic Team ability. Yes. So I can't use that. That's right. No wet wit. Fine. Ten on numbers. Yep. Fine. 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 10 plus 5 yep. is not going to do that. You said he's a 18? That's right. And let's see. 1, <laughs> 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Out of Loki's prob range. Red Mage in the chat says, punch the Scott Porter. And I Force Liffy says, yeah, I punch him in the egg curtain. Okay. Well, <laughs> on that note, that has a 1 in it. It does. In the finalized attack roll. Yep. So I will collect that for Scarlet Witch. Hey, Arthur's here. Hi, Arthur. Hey, Arthur. Thanks for joining. I just yes. watched Arthur's latest video. That is a space ghost. Yeah. Um. Okay. Um, I sidestepped. I attacked. I TK'd. I did two mind controls. I passed turn. Okay. <coughs> nice. Well, what do I do? <laughs> okay. You roll Cosmic TA I, on Scott Porter. Yeah, I roll Cosmic Team Ability Willpower, so I got it. I'm going to prob that. Yeah. 
Um, and also, um, I think Marquis of Death has it. Let's roll that. Nope. Um, Starro has it. Well, he has Colossal. Yep. So we get that. We take that token it's off. Giant size. Um, Wrecker has it because of the thing, the Herald Dial. Okay, but none of that happens. Um, okay. So, Starro um, is going to use Mind Control. Okay. Who's he going to Mind Control? So I have... Scarlet Witch? I have three targets. I can see Scarlet Witch. And I can see... Oh, no, I can't see Loki. Loki's in stealth. Oh, that's bad. Yep. And you can't see Saturnine because there's blocking in the way. Oh, that's really bad. I was hoping to get rid of uh, Loki. I know you were. That's why I put him in stealth. Huh. Sometimes I know what I'm doing with <laughs> this game. This is not good at all. Um, okay. Let's let's do this. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's all good. It's the chat. What are they saying? Rue says, it's less space ghost coast to coast and more space ghost hardly moved from the starting line. Yeah. Okay, so... I think I've got to move... Um, I'm going to move Space Ghost. You got to move? Yeah. I'm going to move Space Ghost for reasons. Um, he's going to... He flies, right? Yeah. He does, yeah. So, he's going to fly. One, two, three, four. He has charge. <coughs> um, he does, but he only has a move of six, right? Oh, I guess... So he is going to take. He can't take anything. He's in the bubble. Yeah, that's true. He's going to move one, two, three. So I need to be like here. That's what I'm going to do. Costed move. Costed move. Now, is your taking of things at the beginning of the turn, or is it just a free? It's a free. So you can take things now. I can. You're out of the bubble. So n and now I can see Wong, right? So I can take a free action and perplex Wong. Right. Uh, yes, because you are outside the bubble. Um, if he has no to action tokens, he can use Perplex twice a turn. But, but he has an action token he now. Yeah. So when he uses Perplex and targets a friendly character, that character has safeguard opposing probability <laughs> control. So I'm opposing, or I'm, I'm perplexing Wong's attack up by one. Okay. Okay. And now he has safeguard opposing probability control? Yep. So Loki can't prop him. That's right. And okay. Wong is going to come over here. Um... On a, on a phasing. Right. Oh, first of all, sorry. Scott Porter was supposed to heal somebody yep. at the beginning of the turn. Starro? Um, he's going to heal Wong. Putting Wong up one. So Wong is going to phase teleport to here. Okay. He is now out of the range. He's out of the bubble. So he can take his free action. He can. So phasing teleport, when Wong uses phasing teleport after resolutions, he can flurry as free. Yep. Also, um, now does, I'm going to see if this comes into play. If Wong is adjacent to exactly one opposing character and neither is adjacent to any other character, well, that, he's against Space Ghost. Yeah. So. All right, so Wong's going to flurry on Saturnine. So just before you do that, yep. this is a question and we don't have to answer it right now. Right. But because you started the flurry within the bubble, do you have access to the free? Um, I believe so because I've exited free. Does it say... Or I've exited the bubble. Does it say after resolutions? After resolutions. Then you're fine. Yeah, yep. you can use Flurry as That's free. why I wanted to ask. Yep. So I'm a 12 attack Kay. on Saturnine. Saturnine is an 18. 18. Oh, he's perplexed up to a 13. Yep. So I, I need a 5. Yep. That's a 7. You need a 5. Yep. He's safeguarded opposing prob, he's and he's doing 3 prob. damage. He's not safeguarded. Jocelyn can <laughs> reduce the, the roll by 1. That's true. Um, you are, though, not in my line of fire to replace the die. So, uh, replacing, moving it to a, a six isn't good enough. So, he's dealing, what, three? Three. Yeah. Un, deux, trois. Okay. Um, next one. Yep. That is in seven again. It's a seven again. Well, just because I can, I'm going to reduce that by one to a six. Right. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But I won't be able to use it again because you just KO'd Saturn. I just KO'd her. Yep. She awesome. is KO'd. Okay. So Saturnine is out. Good. 
Um, I guess Starro will... Oh, mind control Scarlet Witch? I mean, you can you can try. Yeah, he may as well try. Um, or should I just... I'm, I'm in the bubble that with this guy. You are. But You're he, in the bubble. He could see. If I do a costed move with Scott Porter to get away from Scarlet Witch... Th oh, no, I, can, I have improved targeting through characters. Marquis of Death can do it. Okay. Yeah. Um, Marquis of Death is going to shoot. Shoot, shoot. He's got 11 attack. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, 11 attack and 3 damage. He's going to shoot Scarlet Witch. But Kay. you would have a plus because it doesn't have improved targeting hindering. Yep, and I am hindered. Oh, you have... Uh, and I have energy shield deflection. Energy shield deflection. Yep. Okay, i got to see if I can find an outwit somewhere. I don't think I have an outwit. You're in the bubble anyway. I'm in the bubble anyway. Okay. So I am a 21 against a ranged attack. Let's do it. 11 on Scarlet Witch. That's an 8. That's only a 19. It's not enough. Um, I elect not to prob that. The Marquis of Death has his own prob. Okay. That's only a five. So. Okay. He's failed me miserably. You're lucky that Scott Porter's in your way, because otherwise I'd make that a crit miss. <laughs> Scott Porter is out of the bubble. He is. He's going to perplex down Scarlet Witch's defense. I should have done that first, but S it didn't matter. Still wouldn't have hit. So she is an, She would be a 17 against my... Um, Against your Scott Porter. By the way, was Saturnine... Mystics. Mystics? Yeah. So he should have taken a Mystics. He should have taken two Mystics. He hit her twice. One, two. Thank you. Um, so Scarlet Witch is now a 17 versus close. Yep. And Scott Porter is going to swing. Yep. 11 on 17. Because Jocelyn forgot to outwit things. Okay. That's a nine. She'll prob it. She's going to prob it. That's a five. Good job. That misses. So I did one, two, three, four actions so far. Um, there's no point mind controlling her. So I think I think Wrecker. I'm gonna I'm gonna um, does he have does Loki have plasticity by the way? Loki has shape change. Okay. I am going to break away. Yeah. Costed move. Okay. I got a five. Would you like to prob it? Yes. Okay. Loki will prob that. I got a three failed. So Wrecker stays there. And oh, we got to do the dial. Yeah, you right? did it last turn, right? I did it last turn. Afterwards, yep. when we realized. <coughs> so um, I so Wrecker is within five. So I turn the dial once. Oh, Wrecker had Force Blast, by the way, because of the dial. Okay. But I forgot to use it. Um, and I do the elemental converter dial. One. Okay. Don't you do it twice because you KO'd somebody? Or does it have to be the herald that KO's somebody? Good question. Let me check. Check the rules. Elemental converter. Um, I just want everyone says, to know Rob has a little flashlight here. <laughs> yeah. So I can read these bloody cards. At the end of your turn, click the elemental converter dial once. If Galactus or the herald KO'd somebody, you, d you do it again. Okay, so the herald didn't KO anyone. Correct. Got it. Okay, that's my turn. I pass to you. Okay, I'm going to flip a tarot card. I'm going to flip a tarot. Tarot says, when a character <laughs> uses impervious, increase the result of the roll by plus one. I probably don't want that in my deck, to be honest. Probably Moving not. Moving forward. Because I gave Loki invincible. So. Yep. Okay, cosmic TA on Loki. He gets a three, so that misses. Um, and Scarlet Witch doesn't have anything that allows her to take a token off. So She does have plasticity, though, just FYI. Red Mage says Wrecker. I hardly know her. I saw that. And Cherry says Galactus eats planets, Rob. He does. He does. But he's not here yet. No. He could show up if could. we do enough clicks on the dial. It's entirely possible that that could happen. Okay. Let's see. Um, if we went one, two... And just a reminder for our chat, we are playing to a time limit. Yep. So this game will just abruptly stop at a, at a time limit, just like it would at the tournament. All right, well, I need to get Wrecker out of there. Yeah, you need to score some points before yeah, the, one, the timer two, goes. Three, four, five, six. All right, uh, <sighs> free mind control on Wrecker. Yep. Free one first. 
12 on whatever Wrecker's number is. Okay. 12 plus 9. That'll do it. Okay. All right. I am going to break away move. Okay. Break away move. I'm going to prob that because okay. it was a 1. Please succeed. Nope. Oh, no. So that ends the mind control. It does. I'm go oh, I didn't have to roll to attack. Jeez, That's I true. keep forgetting. Cherry says uh, that was her reminding me to click the dial when oh, she okay. said Galactus eats planets. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder. I am now going to cost Can you come to the tournament with me, uh, Cherry, to right. remind me? <laughs> Free succeed mind control. Okay. Yep. I don't have any probs. Oh, it's the second one. Second one. Yeah. Because one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I can see him. Through the blocking. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do that. Let's do that. You're going after the Marquis of Death. What's he got for defense? Uh, he's an 18 defense. 18. Okay. I'm a 12. Okay. Need a six. That is a four. Mm -hmm. And already I already used my prob because I completely messed up. I was all like, I know what I'm doing. Remember me? I know how to play this game. <laughs> um, apparently I don't. But I do collect a rally die for that. Yep. Because a friendly character rolled a one. And uh, I'm going to... Oh, I can't outwit him. That's why. Okay, I'm going to break away sidestep from Scott Porter. Okay. Now, I have uh, plasticity, so I only fail on a one. I'm going to prob <laughs> that because I have prob. <laughs> All right. Okay, now I succeeded. We're going to go one, two. Is that a sidestep? Yeah. Uh, I'm outside the bubble, but now I'm in the bubble. Now you're in the bubble. But that's so okay. So right when your move ends. Um, actually, I don't think... You're double token, right? I know, I'm sidestepping. Okay. I was going to sidestep so I could outwit, and then I realized I can't outwit anyway. But that's yeah. fine. Okay. okay. Um, that's it. That's it. That's okay. it. That's all I got. She clears. Interesting. Um, okay, well, I've got Cosmic on Wong. Yep. I failed it. I got Cosmic on Scott Porter. Oh, Scott Porter also heals somebody. Yep, this is still beginning a turn. So. He failed his thing. Um, I'm going to heal Wong. Um, I got Marquis of Death to do Cosmic. He got it. Cherry says, Naked Nails, Josh Shocker. I know. I did nails on the weekend, and they got all bubbly. I had to take them off last night. Um, Starro does not need to. Oh, Wrecker has the Cosmic dial. He failed it though. Oh yeah, because he's got he gets he gets heralds gives him gives him cosmic. cosmic yeah. Yep. And I guess we're just gonna beat up on Scarlet Witch. So Scott Porter's outside of the bubble, so we're gonna perplex her down to a 17 defense. Yeah, I probably should have done something different, but that's okay. And uh, the Marquis of Death. Oh, hold on a second. Is in the bubble. Um, Space Ghost is going to um, perplex him up. Okay. To a 12 attack. All right. And she's down to a 17, so it's going to be 12 on 17. Yep. Close attack. That's an 8. Do you have a prob? I do. She has prob. She has prob. Yep. I think he's got outwit, too, so why haven't I been using that? Let me just check. No, he does not. Okay. That's why you weren't using it. That's why. 7. Okay, that hits. 3 damage into Scarlet Witch. Okay. You're going to take a Mystics. You're uh, invincible. He's invincible. One, two, three. Okay. And then uh, Porter is going to swing. Okay, I've got super senses now. Are you still a s printed 17, I think? I'm a printed 17, so I'm now a 16. Okay, 11 on 16. Yep. Porter with the big hit. It's and I already, I already probed, right? Yep, that's one point into Scarlet Witch. Okay, um, I get super senses. You do. Nope. Okay. And you take a Mystics. Because Scott Porter is not invincible. Another token. He takes a Mystics. Jocelyn wishes she hadn't placed herself adjacent because that was silly. Well, this is why we're practicing, right? Yep. Um, okay. Next is going to be... Oh, look at... Um, one, two, three. Yep. That's my charge. Okay. Oh, I had, I had willpower on him. I, I should roll that. I am so dumb. You didn't get the willpower. You know why I'm so dumb? Why? Because I have three ones. Oh well, here you go. This is why you're. Uh, yep. This is why we're practicing. Yep. Um. 
one, two, three on a charge. Yep, and I can't use it on him because I don't have line of fire. And he has close combat expert. Yep. So he's 11 against your seven. 17? 17. Or 16. Cause 17, because I'm back up to an 18. Back up to an 18. So I need a... Oh, I got it. That's a 7. Super senses. Nope. 4 She's damage. Out. 4 damage from Space Ghost. Yep. I should have remembered. KOing her from coast to coast. I should have remembered about my um, my ones. Because I would have... Both of those attacks would have missed. Um, I did 1, 2, 3... And I can't do anything else. Oh, I could do a costed move. Right? I could go one, two. I'm going to go to the, the overhead. Overhead, so we can see this better. I'm going to go one, two, three. Mm -hmm. to here. And four. So I'm going to be here. Okay. So I'm now right beside you. Sure. So I can I can uh, mind control you next turn. Um, Wrecker's going to clear. And Wong is going to clear. Okay. And it is now your turn. Oh, and I'm going to click my dial. Yep. Yep. Over to you. Okay. Your turn. I'm going to flip a card. When a character rolls for an effect using a single D6, increase the results of the roll by plus one. Well, that would have been handy last turn. Um, cosmic on Loki. We now have the number one up on the con elemental converter, which means if anybody is one square away from a map edge, they're going to get... Yep. Roasted. Yep. Okay. Failed the cosmic even with the plus one, but I can still do a free. So, um, we are going to free mind control. One, two, three, four, five, six. The Marquis of Death. Okay. I don't have to roll because it's, it's automatically automatic. succeeds. Yep. Okay. Marquis of Death is mind controlled. Marquis of Death is an 11. You perplexed him up last turn, didn't you? Um. His attack from Space Ghost. I did. So he's a 12. That's right. Um, does this Scott Porter have a stop click? He does. No, okay. I'm sorry. He does not. All right. He's you can just kill him. Yeah. 12 on Scott Porter. Yep. He's a 17 right now. That's an 8. Um, okay. Scott Porter has super senses all the way down his dial. Okay. And I can't remember. Marquis not precision. His, he's, no, I don't think so. Roll to five. Super sensed out of it. Boo. Yep. All right. I'm going to attempt a breakaway move. Okay. We get that. Mm -hmm. uh, he can go four. <laughs> Boo. Super senses. Four slip, he says. One, two. Yes. It's a fun killer, isn't it? Ready? I'm ready. One, two, three. Three, four. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I'm placing you at the edge of the map. Yep, so let's see how that works. That's at the end of my turn, though, isn't it? Or every turn. Let's check. Um, converting planets to pure energy at the end of each opponent's turn. Okay. So it happens at the end of your turn. Yeah, but you're, you're double tokened. Deal one unavoidable damage to each character on that force. Oh, Within X squares of the map. Okay, so within the one square. Okay, hang on. You have sidesteps. You can just sidestep out of that. But it would happen at the end of your turn. Oh, yeah, at the end of my turn. Yeah. So that's fine. So we'll leave you there. Yeah, so you would damage him. Yep. Okay, um, that's all Loki can do. Because okay. Loki just had his free, because he's double tokened. Yep. He's just checking to see if he has anything else on his card. Okay. Which he does not. I'm going to take his damage. So he's going to clear. It is penetrating, right? I think or is it unavoidable? unavoidable? I will verify that again. It is unavoidable. Unavoidable. <laughs> it's so my unavoidable song. So he takes a click, but he has doesn't have sidestep anymore. Yay. So he's going to get fried over there, yes. probably. Yeah. Okay, it's your turn. Okay, my turn. Interesting. Um, we're probably getting close to time, but that's all right. Um, oh, I'm going to go Cosmic Willpower. Sorry, Colossal. That I mean. succeeds. Even if it was a five because of the... Yeah, so he gets it. Yep. Starro uh, removes a token. Um, we have Cosmic on the Marquee. He gets it. Mm -hmm. So we'll take a token off him. We have Cosmic on Scott Porter. Nope. And Wong's already... Uh, untokened. Untokened. And then I get to heal somebody. Yep. I'm going to heal the Marquee. Of course you are. 
so that he gets his sidestep back. I mean, he also could take a costed move. <laughs> he could. But we are going to um, sidestep to here. Okay. Um, then we're going to try to um, mind control Loki. Shape change. Okay. That's a three. Okay. Misses. Misses. Okay. You can try and mind control me. Let's mind control because I'm doing a close with Starro. Mm -hmm. um, hold on. Starro's attack value is, I believe, an 11 or has he been damaged? No, it's an 11. He did lose sides up for, for Slippy, but then he healed him with Scott Porter at the beginning of his turn, so he got it back. That's a 9. That'll hit a 20. That'll hit a 20, and I am a 19. Um, I'm going to prop it. You are going to prop it. That's an 8. That'll hit a 19. That hits. Okay. Um, so, would let's... You, would you like... Oh, I don't have to break away. What's his move? 9. So he can go five. five. Okay. Let's send him away. One, two, three, four, five. He just moved the whole bubble. One, two, three, I know. four, five, six. So the bubble moves. Um, and then we're going to take Wrecker. Yep. And we're going to go one, two, destroy that. Mm -hmm. Three, four, five. Five, um, six. We're going to destroy that. Okay, so you got another mission point. And then we're going to go seven to here and destroy that. Mm -hmm. Eight. Um, this flips because it's destroyed. Other way. Yep. So I got another mission point. And then I'm going to generate one of my guys. Okay. I'm going to generate a pile driver. Okay. Sorry, Thunderball. Right here. Okay. And then Thunderball is going to sidestep here. Okay. Destroying that wall. Mm -hmm. That's another point of, of mission points. Yep. Um, so that's 30 victory points just from that. And I think we're just going to get myself into a defensive position, I think. So we're gonna we're gonna bring Wong to here. So there was a costed here as well. That's a sidestep. It's free. So you got a sidestep, and you got how did you get three mission points? One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the um because well he sorry I only got, I only earned two this turn. Okay, that's I've why three I was total. Yeah, three total is what yep. I meant. Um, he did that. He did that. I'm just gonna clear these guys. Okay. And Space Ghost, oh, that's all I can do. He's going to perplex up his own defense. Um, Porter will perplex up his own defense, and I'll pass turn to you. Okay. All right. Um, one, two, three, four, Oh, yeah. Five, four slip, he said. I, th I thought he said he lost size. I did, but I healed. Yeah, I explained that already yep. when you were doing your turn. Um, okay, so the only person that I can see right now is Starro. Yes. But Starro can only do one damage, right? That's right. And your force still has two or more characters than mine. Right. So I don't have to roll Cosmic. I do need to flip this last tarot card, which is results of one during attacks and breakaway attempts or sixes instead. Oh, by the way, Yeah. I was supposed to create a Starro. So we put a Starro fight here. Okay. After resolutions when I do a mind control. Is it tiny? Um, it is not. It's standard size. Standard size. Okay. So when Starro hits after resolutions, generate a Starro fight bystander. Okay. Adjacent to the each hit character. Um, they are a ten. Defense. They have sidestep. Um, but you will need to break away, right? What's their attack? Or what's their attack and defense? Or zero zero. Attack zero attack. Zero damage. Zero damage. Yep. Boo. Yep. Um. Well, I'm going to try and break away and move. Okay. And you have plasticity, right? I do not. Oh, you don't have that anymore. Uh, okay. I never had plasticity. I thought you did. That was, was on uh, Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch, because she had the cloak. 
But what I do have is results of one or sixes instead. Oh, yeah. Breakaway move. That's a two. That's not going to get me anywhere. No. I'm going to prob it. Okay. Breakaway move. That's a three. That's still not going to get there. No. Nope. It would be if you were tiny. Okay. So, costed move fails. Yep. So, I guess I am just going to destroy the Star of Heart. Oh, I think the marquee was supposed to He was supposed to clear. clear. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to destroy the Star of Fight. Okay. Oh. That's a crit oh, miss. You crit miss. And I already probed. Against a ten. Yep. So, How I How is fail. this even possible? There we go. Oh, my goodness. Pass to you. That's that's about the oh. worst thing that could happen. That's a crit hit. That is a crit hit. Because the star yeah. says... Yeah, we'll put that on the close-up. Results of ones and during look at attacks that. and breakaways rolls or sixes instead. And look at that amazing tarot card. It's really great. That is amazing. Really I cool. love Dazzler. Yeah. She's so cool. Okay, so I I destroyed that star of fight you so did. far. Smashed him. And that's it. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to roll Cosmic on Wrecker. But you did make a silly decision. Why? Um, because you put me in, in stealth. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, Wong is going to roll Cosmic. I got it. Um, at this point... That. Yeah, what's that? I'm going that. Um, at this point in the game, I'm going to go uh, Colossal. Willpower, he got it. Um, at this point in the game, there's no point trying to, like, KO Loki, right? So I should just be going for more mission points. Probably. Right? So, um... That's why I was trying to get over there. Wrecker is going to sidestep. He's going to go one, two, yep. and go through that wall. Mm -hmm. So that will be one mission point. So four mission points in total. Um, Thunderball is going to sidestep to here. Yep. Destroying that wall. Um, so he's there. And then Wrecker is going to generate pi uh, pile driver because he can he can do that for free. So he's going to put him here. Okay. And uh, then pile driver is going to do costed a move. costed move into this square, and he will walk through that wall, destroying it. And that's time. And that's time. And that yep. was an extra three mission points. So six in total. Six in total. And that's game. Okay. So, so you got 60 in mission points. Yeah. Plus you took out Saturnine, which was 35. Yes. And you took out Scarlet Witch, which was 50. So 145 points. Yeah. And I only got Faust, right? Yeah. Faust was 30. Yeah. So you won that one. So you know what? I initially said to you that I thought your team was trying to do too many different things. Yeah. But it worked. It did work. Yeah. Yeah. I was really worried. Like, the matchup. I think my team is, is interesting. Like, it's, you know, can do a lot of things. But this guy, Loki, is so oppressive with those yeah. blocking free actions. Um, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a weird matchup, really. Yeah. I would not expect this matchup at the tournament for me. No. Right? So... No, for sure. Yeah. Arthur says, wow, that what a move, and that tarot card saved you. Yeah, that's yeah, totally true. It did. It saved me from that crit miss. As I, as I was clicking him, I'm like, wait a second. He didn't actually click crit miss. That's yeah. a crit hit. So yeah. anyway, so that was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was cool. Um, and we got some more practice in. Yeah. I definitely think I need to change out that tarot card. I need to change out the impervious one. Yeah. Um, so I have to put a cups in. So I'm looking for suggestions on cups. The star is good. I don't know if I want Queen of Wands. No. I don't think I'm doing enough single D6 rolling that's going to be helpful Wh to me. Which one does that? What does that do again? When a character rolls for an effect using a single D6, increase the result by plus one. Right. I don't think it's doing enough for me. Okay. So I think that one's got to get changed out. The TK card I'm happy with. The mind control card unfortunately came up on the first turn. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna look at wands and I'm gonna look at cups and see what else I can come up with. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, but I think generally I did pretty well at the beginning of the game. I had good placement. I yeah. had you oppressed. But when you finally succeeded that attack on me and were able to move me out of the way so that you could start doing your free stuff, that mm -hmm. was that was the turning point. This Loki is really good. There's not much I can do unless I concentrate everything on him, mm -hmm. um, which is very difficult. So I think you're, like when you go to the tournament, yep. obviously the big thing is try, trying to protect your support pieces. Yeah. Because that's where 
that's where people are going to get their points. Yeah, and I brought them out. I made the decision to bring them out. Yeah. To try and help me. Yeah. And they did to a degree, but you know, Scarlet Witch didn't quite get what I needed to do, and and then I made that silly move where I placed her adjacent when I shouldn't have done that because she's right. got ESD. Well, it's a good thing we practice because yeah. now you can, uh, you know, we're trying it out. Yep. You're, and I and I might seen, even you know whatever you know things yeah. that you're forgetting you're you're remembering and yeah. That's, and that's what practicing is about, yeah. right? I might even consider changing out some of these support pieces. Not Saturnine. Saturnine's staying forever. Um, yeah. But Scarlet Witch. Because you want the tarot. Yeah. Because <laughs> I want the tarot. But I, I I like the Scarlet Witch and I like the Rally Dice because that's the other thing too. I forgot my Rally Dice. You did. And if I'd done that, Scarlet Witch wouldn't have been off the map. Yeah. Which would have changed the whole back half of that game. Mm -hmm. So anyway. So you are off to a tournament this weekend. I am. I am not going. This weekend as per recording. But yeah, as per our live stream. But yes, but when we uh, when this goes <laughs> out, it'll be over. It'll be over. And I'll have lost, and Emily will be the queen of the Quebec Provincials. Emily will probably be the the queen of Quebec yep. Provincials for yep. sure. Um, and then, so you're playing there. You're gonna have a an experience. You know, you're gonna get some some games in. Yeah. And um, you're gonna be ready for the following weekend where we play here in Ontario. Yeah. So I need to uh, build a team that's gonna take out a dark side in Ontario. Yeah. Dark side is the one to beat. I expect to come across a lot of dark sides in yep. in the in Quebec, and I don't know how to deal with them. So, well, maybe hmm, maybe we'll have to build a dark side team. I'll I'll we I'll build a team, and you can play against we it. We can proxy the rings because we don't have them. Yeah, the rings are what do it. So that's right. It's the anyway. rings what does it. <laughs> that's right. If the, I think it's the zero ring that generates the barrier. Okay. So anyway, we'll have to look into it. But prepare. that's okay. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to win. I'm going to have a good time. Yeah, that's what it's about is getting no together and playing games and hanging out with people, and right? And I'm probably going to be the only person playing this Loki, so. Well, hey, you may surprise yourself. You might surprise other people. That's the plan. That's the plan. So thanks, everyone, for coming out and watching yeah. us practice Thank for you everybody. Silver. And we really appreciate you being here. Yeah. Um, loved having everybody in the chat and keeping us company and all that fun stuff. So thank you to our regulars, Cherry and Red Mage, for joining us. Yeah. And uh, for our other folks that yep. joined us. Thanks for, for Sean Slippy Cena dropping in and for Slippy and Grace. Yep. And, uh, and Arthur. Arthur. Thanks, Arthur, for yep. stopping by. That's yep. our game for tonight. This will be going out on YouTube. Also, it was in a few I weeks. I think it was for Slippy that jinxed me. Mm. Was it? <laughs> Four slippy said Joss's oh, dice sure. are smoking. Uh, <laughs> so Yeah. Is there anyone we can raid tonight? Uh good question. Is uh is corporate crash course on? No, they cancelled tonight. Oh, did they? Yeah, they had to cancel. So um I don't know if there's anybody we can Four Slippy, I appreciate you. Yeah. So, so. I don't know if there's anybody Okay. I know Goodwin was live earlier, know. but I don't know if they're still live. Yeah, they were. So. All right. Well, thanks we'll everyone for coming out, and um, we should do an ending. Yeah, we should. Um, so, um, if you're watching this live on Twitch, thanks for joining us tonight. It was Please, great. Thank you. Keep an eye on our social medias. Um, we usually announce about an, an hour before. Give or take. I think we got to get better at that. If we're going to plan something on a certain night, we'll we'll let you know a couple of days ahead of time. But usually, as soon as we know, we we'll let you know you. on social media. Yep. Uh, also, you can put notifications, I think, on Twitch, so you know when we go live. Or join our Discord, because you know what? On our Discord, we get a live notification. Yep, that's true. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe. We'd greatly appreciate that. And leave us a comment. And uh, you can find us in all the places here. Um, these are all our addresses, our YouTube, our email, Discord. We have Facebook. We have Twitter, Threads, Instagram. And you can visit Jocelyn at her Etsy shop. All of these are true. And we thank you for watching. And if you're playing in Provincials, we know Four Slippy is. So good luck, Four Slippy and Grace, on your pr or sorry, your states. Yep. You're playing in the Rock States uh, Silver Age Tournament. Um, and anyone else, uh, good luck on your tournaments. I know some are happening through November and into December. That's right. So good luck, everybody. And we will see you all next time. Bye for now. Bye.